You've done us all a service rescuing Lanwin. Would you like to hear more about her sister, the Green Lady? I wanted to give you a short tour of our holy sites. Deepwoods is home to the last two Green Ladies, and some say the first as well. Pilgrims often visit our village to pay homage to the Shrine of the Green Lady. It's the most sacred site in Deepwoods, and the reason the first villagers chose this site. Come with me. I'll show you the shrine and tell you more of our history. Here we are. The very embodiment of the Green Lady can be seen in this ancient tree. Yes, some say this is the grave of the first Green Lady, lost to time before the Green Pact. Others believe the tree is the first Green Lady herself. All agree this place is sacred and the blessed site of Ifri. Hard to say. While a Green Lady is terrifically hard to kill, she is mortal. A powerful blow from a Daedra, perhaps. More likely she died of old age. Or perhaps her Sylvanar was killed. Yes. So it was with Fenariel, who was Green Lady before this one. Once the Green Lady and Sylvanar are wed, their bond is inescapable. If one dies, the other must follow suit. The Falls, where the current Green Lady Gwaring risked her life to save a friend. I can reveal a bit of the story with a blessing Spinner Aldor taught me. It's a little dangerous with the werewolves and houndsmen about, but they're no match for you. Here we are. This is where the current Green Lady saved her friend as a young girl. Shall I start the blessing? Ifrit, confer your blessing upon this place, that we might behold the bravery of the Green Lady. Illusions, the blessing reveals a spiritual imprint left at this place. Ifrit has blessed us with this memory to show us the spirit of true courage and self-sacrifice. Wearing an Orthorn, her constant companion, often played here as children. One day, a starved pack of sench tigers came along and circled the pair. Uthorn suffered with fear, but Gwaring stood fast. Gwaring picked up a bone and growled like a tiger herself. Then she gave them what for until they surrendered. I came along just as they ran off. Uthorn was quite embarrassed of his inaction, but remained proud of Gwaring. Let's go to the archery range. It's just up the hill. Watch out for those werewolves. There are so many of them. I hope the Green Lady sends us help to disperse them. range brings back memories. Everyone from the village learned how to use a bow in this very place. Ifra, confer your blessings upon this place, that we might behold the skill of the Green Lady. Yes, as a child. Gwaring practiced archery here with her friend Ulthorn and sister Lonwen. She outstripped them from the very first day. That's when her aunt Venoriel, the previous Green Lady, saw her potential. To be the next Green Lady, of course. Her next feat all but confirmed it. Ulthorn thought he'd showed her. He'd been having lessons for a year or so before she and Lonwen came along. Gwaring's first arrow split his in two, her second the same. She never missed. Ever. 
Angry, not he. When he saw her skill, he'd forgot he'd meant to show off and instead gloated about her prowess as if he'd taught her himself. He was always proud of her and loved her. He grew up and learned the hard way that one doesn't always get what one wants, or is promised. They'd been betrothed, but when she was chosen as the Green Lady, Orthorn was forced to step aside. The Green Lady always weds the Sylvanar. To love someone so strongly, only for them to be taken away is a hard thing for any Myrrh to learn. He left Deepwoods to seek his fortune elsewhere. In any case, we should continue our tour. Let's return to the village. That's where Gwering's greatest moment took place. There's an area near the shrine where our people gathered to watch. Here we are, back where we began. Isn't it amazing how often we travel to distant places, only to end up right where we started? Ifra, confer your blessing upon this place, that we might behold the glory of the Green Lady. The Green Lady is the personification of the feral side of our people. Here you see part of the scene when Gwering was revealed by Ifra. Yes, once her Sylvanar died on Kanathi's roost, Fenariel vanished. The priests and spinners searched for any sign. When they could not find her, they came to Deepwoods to pray for guidance at the Green Lady's Shrine. As the priests and spinners prayed, Gwering came to the shrine to join them. When she touched the shrine to offer her prayers, the tree began to glow, and she rose into the air, revealed as the Blessed Green Lady before the assembled faithful. Indeed, her glory was revealed, and all Gwering's experiences and talents must have been ordained by Ifred to prepare her for this ascension. The Green Lady represents our feral flesh, while the Sylvanar is the spiritual. Both are chosen by Ifred for the common good of our people. Their union is sacred, and we are all made stronger for it. I'm always happy to share our stories. It's the least I could do to thank you for saving me from those werewolves. We're proud of our history in Deepwoods. Thank you. 